With 73 different libraries at Harvard, it can be difficult to figure out where to get help with a research project. If your topic involves public policy, or if you're putting together a multimedia presentation, a great place to get started is in Lamont and Pusey Libraries, where there are specialists in maps, social science data, environmental studies, and publications of the United States and other governments throughout the world. There are also group workspaces and a multimedia lab with facilities and consultants for sound, video, and image editing. I'm Scott Walker. I'm a cartographer in the Harvard Map Collection. Students work with us on projects on just about any topic that you can think of. One example is the development of Cape Wind, a wind energy farm in Nantucket Sound off the shore of Cape Cod here in Massachusetts. Recently approved by the U.S. Department of Interior, Cape Wind has generated a large amount of controversy, with those in favor arguing for the project's renewable energy and climate benefits, while those against the project point out its aesthetic, cultural, and environmental impacts. We can help with research on this topic, and a good place to start would be the Harvard Map Collection. Cape Cod has always been a place loved by people who work and play by the water, and the Harvard Map Collection's world-renowned historical map collection documents the physical and cultural changes over the centuries. Librarians in the map collection can help you find maps not only in Harvard's collections, but also maps available online that cover your project area. The impact of the Cape Wind project on views are an important element of the debate, and the map collection librarians can help you perform the analysis to determine how many turbines and how much of each 400-foot tall structure you can see from any place on the Cape. Digital mapping consultants can help you to visualize the wind turbines in their proposed locations and develop a flyover tour of the area. Librarians from the Media Lab can work with the video file and other elements to turn that tour into a vibrant multimedia presentation. Some have said that the largest source of opposition comes from wealthy homeowners who worry about their ocean views being spoiled. To test this hypothesis, you might compare the viewshed map with a map of incomes across the Cape. Consult with Lamont Library's data librarians, who can help you find U.S. Census data on income using a software product called Geolytics, as well as to explore public opinion data about Cape Wind and wind power in general from the Roper Center for Public Opinion Research, and other sources. Other arguments for and against the project hinge on government assessments of the environmental impacts. Government documents librarians can help you locate current and historical data on these issues, including the overall environmental impact statement and congressional debate related to the issue. Lamont Library is also home to an environmental studies librarian who can help you find books and technical reports on the topic. For example, this study of the risk of oil spills from tankers and other boats colliding with the turbines. All of this is just a beginning, and each step can lead to more connections. Be aware that once you finish your work, you can come to Lamont Library's Multimedia Lab to get help putting together an audio-visual presentation. Of course, you don't have to be working on a major project. We can help with any size request. Just remember that our job is to help connect you with the information you need for your classes, your teaching, and your research. For help with research on government information, environmental studies, and social science data, come to the Research Services Desk on Lamont Level B. For help with music or multimedia production, visit the Multimedia Lab on Lamont Level A. And to find maps or get help with digital map making, visit the Harvard Map Collection, accessed via Level B of Lamont Library. We'll see you soon in Lamont.